Hi everyone. In a recent video, I uh, shared uh, how I was looking for a solution where I could store audio and video files on an NVMe SSD and then be able to remove the NVMe drive from my Raspberry Pi without having to shut down the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I wanted to just be able to eject the NVMe drive and take the drive to another machine, transfer my audio and video, and then bring it back and plug it back into the Raspberry Pi while it was running. And uh, this particular solution that I had found, this uh, uh, NVMe enclosure, gave me a good uh, option, uh, and um, it, it, uh, which I discussed in the, in the previous video and put links to uh, Amazon where I bought it, and uh, also a link to another color that it comes in silver and, and black. But a, a viewer recently reported that those links show that uh, the item is no longer available which uh, then I went and checked. Uh, thanks for the uh, heads up from the viewer. Uh, I was able to confirm that the, yes, the, these items are not uh, available at the moment. Um, so here's the link to um, the LuckBind uh, NVMe enclosure that I had mentioned. It's based on an RTL, uh, the Realtek RTL 9210 chipset. And that's what I'm, what I'm looking for. I, I need a solution based on this chipset uh, well, to experiment with because this is the one that I'm currently focused on. There are other chipsets on the market, but this one uh, what seemed to have uh, some better um, uh, advantages. Uh, for example, apparently based on this article that I found, uh, which I also will put a link to, both, to, to this article and, the, and this one, they both mentioned that the um, uh, the RTL 9210 seems to have a lower temperature, uh, some of the advantages, and um, it seemed like uh, uh, it's the one that I should be uh, uh, focusing on. So, but uh, since the LuckBind one is no longer available, and the seller, which uh, I'm not affiliated with, I just put the links in there, and I, I'm not the seller, so I just want to remember where I bought it from, that way I can refer to these videos and then follow the links in the description, see what I bought and where I bought it from if I need it again. So the, the seller is reporting that uh, they don't know when or if this item will be back in stock, but it's currently unavailable. The black uh, color is also unavailable. So I looked around and I found this other option from uh, Oracle, Oracle M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. It has a three USB 3.1 Gen 2 port, uh, which will then, uh, which I'll be able to connect to the Raspberry Pi's USB 3 port. And it is based on the RTL uh, 9210 chipset, which is hopefully what I, what I will um, be able to use. And as you can see, it uh, has the M.2 uh, key, um, the, the E key, uh, somewhere in here it has listed that it's got the right key for the SSD that I, that I purchased. So um, here it is, as you can, uh, as this uh, uh, picture shows, there is a, a thermal, uh, silica gel here that will uh, at connect uh, uh, to the to the car, uh, to this uh, board that'll be inside and it'll transfer the heat to the shell and the shell will dis dissipate it um, that that's supposed supposedly it will keep it cooler as well uh, so not only having the the uh, RTL 9210 chipset but also having the some of the heat uh, heat dissipation features built into the case to the enclosure would, would be good. I also ordered another uh, team group uh, NVMe SSD. This particular one is a NVMe 1.3 uh, and it has a, um, uh, it, ha it is 256 gigabytes. The, the one I have used before was 128 gigabytes, but it no longer is available. The, the minimum size I can find is 256 gigabytes. It goes about $38. And uh, Oracle enclosure is about twenty dollars, so it's about three to four dollars more expensive than the LuckBind one. I think I paid uh, some close to sixteen dollars for this one, uh, fifteen ninety nine, and then the black one was a little bit more expensive. So the the Oracle one is a few dollars more, but um, it came to me right away. I mean, I ordered it, uh, and a few days later, uh, it was available to me. Whereas the, 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 these LuckBind ones took a bit longer. I think they, they took more than a couple of weeks for them to show up. 
so that was a good a good thing also to um, for for me. So I'm looking forward to to uh, having this ec other option with uh, with the Oracle since I can't get the Lapind ones in, but uh, at least I have a second source for uh, the thing that I'm looking for. Uh, on the um, on this uh, use case that I have in mind, again, I just want to be able to. Uh, have a removable system for removing my files while the system is on. I do not want to boot the Raspberry Pi from the NVMe SSD. Uh, I boot my Pi from an 128 gig, uh, gig uh, micro SD card uh, that will be sitting in the micro SD slot and it'll be available for the OS to, to do its thing. That way, when I eject the um, the enclosure, um, you know, I, the, I don't have to shut down the the OS. So that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully, that's uh, that's uh, useful to um, you know anyone else who's interested in a removable solution. Uh, in any case, I'm going to sh uh, shut down now and then remove this enclosure. Uh, by the way, the box uh, for the um, this is the box for the Oracle um, enclosure. This is the box it came in, and that's a little bit too close to my uh, camera. And here's my team group um, and package for the SSD itself. These are the items that came in the box for the Oracle um, uh, enclosure. This uh, There's a USB-C to USB-C cable, short cable. These are great. Short cables are best for this the, when, when I'm putting the um, these sort of cases together. I don't want the longer cables because then I have to uh, find space for them in the in the in the case uh, in the portable case. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to use. It's a USB-C to USB-A. It came with a screwdriver. It's the enclosure itself, and instructions and some other items. But it has a, a lot smaller uh, pa pad that uh, than that was in the picture. So I don't know if this is going to be enough, but that's all I've got right now. So basically, when you take the screw off, uh, this uh, screw off, you can just slide the case, the enclosure open, and inside it, you'll see the controller, uh, and you can pop that out. Here on the back is the R RTL uh, 9210 chip. Um, there is no uh, thermal pad on the back, so I guess it's just sitting on inside like that. It's designed to sit there. But once you once you take it out, you can put the um, the SSD card in the slot here. But once the once you've uh, put it together, you put it back in the case. Now the next thing to do is to figure out where to put this thermal pad. Uh, it's supposed to go over the main controller chip of the SSD. I have no idea where the main controller controller thing is. This is too small. Uh, in the, the Lapind one, I think, came, or I had had it myself, one that would stretch across. Okay, I was able to get the um, case closed. Uh, took a little bit of wiggling. And um, uh, you can see that I have the USB-C uh, to USB-A cable attached to it. I then, was, once I had it uh, closed, I took it to my Windows machine plugged it in, initialized it uh, with the um, disk management tools, uh, and then formatted it with NTFS because I want to be able to take this drive and plug it into either a Linux machine or Mac machine or uh, Windows. So I formatted it with NTFS. Raspberry Pi recognizes NTFS too, so NTFS as well. So um, now it should be ready for me to uh, put it in my portable case and boot up the Raspberry Pi to see if it recognizes this volume. Okay, so um, the Oracle case is, uh, enclosure is now in my portable case. I've connected it with the USB-C to USB-A cable to this uh, port of the Raspberry Pi, USB 3 point port. I'm going to turn the fan on and then turn the Pi on. Again, this, in this case, uh, the use case for this uh, portable case is that I'm going to keep the lid open and I'll have the fan 
um, sitting uh, so, like so, uh, so that it can blow some air over the um, Pi and the SSD. Basically, if it just if I just let it sit like that, it should cool both uh, uh, both parts, and um, since the lid is open, it can have the airflow, and uh, the camera will be uh, sitting somewhere outside, uh, and that'll give me enough uh, functionality to do some experimentation before settling on, on other aspects of the portable case. But at least now I have the, the this on. And I'm going to switch to uh, VNC to see if the uh, ra uh, Raspberry Pi recognized it. Okay, the Pi, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 has booted, and as you can see on the desktop, it has uh, recognized the NVMe drive. Again, um, to the Raspberry Pi, this is a USB drive because uh, that's what the RTL, uh, the Realtek RTL 9-2-10 chipset does, and the, uh, it just translates NVMe to USB, and uh, as you saw, I plug it into the USB 3 port of the Raspberry Pi, but it does mount it, recognize it and mount it, uh, and uh, I, when I formatted uh, this drive on my Windows machine, I gave it a label, called it NVMe dash drive, so if I dub double click on it, um, if I open it, as you can see, there is a this is uh, under slash media slash pi slash NVMe drive. I've created the sessions folder here. It's empty. So um, I'm going to uh, open a terminal window and then um, uh, recall uh, my FFmpeg command. And this will start recording audio from the uh, microphone that I've attached to uh, my Raspberry Pi and it'll record it uh, and put it in the slash media slash pi slash NVMe drive slash sessions and it'll put it under the session MP an mp3 file and it'll timestamp it. So um, that should work. As you see, there is a, a file being recorded and uh, you know, looks like uh, now I have another uh, RTL, Realtek RTL 9210 based uh, NVMe SSD enclosure that I can attach to my Raspberry Pi. I have another option now since the other one is uh, uh, no longer available or at least currently unavailable. Uh, I hope this information was, was useful. Again, at some point in the future, maybe uh, when I get to a point where I need to have performance information or um, measure the, the uh, you know, how hot the SSD is running, uh, I'll get into those sort of measurements. Maybe I'll be able to share that with you. But uh, for now, this is uh, all I need. Uh, and it uh, looks like I'm back in business with the second source for those uh, for the MBM enclosure. Uh, take care, and I'll uh, hopefully see you in a future video.